it was kind of a challenge, to be honest with you, to write a story that could totally change based on your actions. But in the final game, we managed to create an experience where, depending on how you play, there are entire scenes that you can see or miss. There are characters that can be with you for just one scene or accompany you until the very end of the game. I worked a lot with David when we were like drafting the story, building the, 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 all the possible branches for the game. And the, the very the toughest thing was to make a script that's that big, that like where every character can influence the story of the others. Make sure that the player always like is never betrayed by his choices. Our objective with the game is to make you live the life of the characters, to experience what they experience, uh, feel what they feel, and share in their struggles. So choice, firstly, immerses you in the character because that character's dilemmas are your dilemmas. Secondly, when you make a choice for a character, you live the consequences of that choice. We thought it was critical that whilst players have the freedom to make choices, they also have the responsibility of choosing wisely. In Detroit, all the three playable characters can die at different points in the story, so you really need to be careful and think about your choices, your decisions, and really care for them because you may lose them. You have different, totally different scenes. It's not only in each scene that you have uh, different choices or branches, so it's difficult to, uh, to evaluate for one player which uh, experience he will have from beginning to end, and to be sure each branch will be seen by some players, of course. One of the main points of the game is that you have to make choices and you have to face the consequences. And we wanted to be true to that, we wanted to be honest to the player to, uh, toward that. And the way that you can make decisions with Connor that will impact Marcus, that will impact Cara and vice versa. And at the end of the game, as the game goes on, like the last act is crazy because of that, because you have all these stories that can collision with each other and create like something. At the end, you really have like an incredible amount of possibilities for the player to see how the, the story will end. And that's something we talk about a lot, how bending the story is, how many variations of the story there are. It's quantum leap from anything Quantic Dream's done before. The reason that scope is important is it means that the story you get when you play the game is going to be incredibly personal to you. You're going to have a kind of a narrative fingerprint because no two people are going to have quite the same experience when they play this game. Watching people playing Detroit is always discovery, even for the people in the team working on the game for so long. Um, it's always a surprise to see the permutations and, and how did you get this? How did you do that? It's a real nightmare for the QA teams, to be honest with you, just because they try to track all the possibilities and it's, it's really a huge challenge. So it's really a, a huge amount of uh, data to produce. What was very difficult was to be able to test each branch and to balance the game and uh, the difficulty. There are so many branches that each uh, player will see another thing and uh, will have another experience. There's a map of all the possibilities in the game. It looks like a constellation or a, a galaxy because e even the question how many endings are there kind of implies there's one horizontal axis of ending A, ending B, ending C. But even what one considers to be an ending is variable. There's not a canon version of Detroit. Detroit is not, Detroit's not a single story that you can tweak. Detroit is a context in which you can make your own story. I'm excited to see what stories people will choose to tell. For me, what is truly unique about video games and interactivity in general is that it's the only art form where you create something with the audience. You know, when you're, when you're a writer, you write a book, people read the book, but they can't change the book, right? They can just read it and feel the emotions that you try to put in there. But when we create an experience like Detroit, I created a narrative landscape in which players can travel and they can tell their own story. So it's a story that we tell together. They become the co-writer, the co-actor, the co-director of the experience. It's the scope is just completely insane. So I'm just so proud that we made it. And now I'm just impassioned to see what people will think of it.